Hello and welcome to this edition of Cavium's Intelligent IO Matters video series. Todd Owens again here with you and I'm the Technical Marketing Manager uh, here at Cavium on the HPE OEM account team. Today I want to provide you with some insights on why HPE customers looking to use flash storage should also be looking to upgrade their fiber channel infrastructure. You know, in today's data center, changes in technology are happening at an amazing pace. Whether it's the storage, the servers, the operating system and software, there are new capabilities and technologies available to help make applications run faster and IT administrators do more with less. Well, the same can be said for the infrastructure. This is all the I.O. adapter, switching and cabling that connects everything else together. I.O. infrastructure matters more now than ever before. And this is especially the case when customers are trying to leverage the latest and greatest flash storage technology. Let's take a look at HPE's industry-leading flash storage arrays. The Nimble Storage family and the HPE Store serve three-part array family. But whether it's the data sheet performance numbers or the real-world benchmarking, these arrays produce some amazing performance numbers. Well over 500,000 IOPS in real-world applications. When customers are looking to acquire these kind of technology, well, their expectations around performance mirror these kind of numbers. Just plug it in and voila, top performance is achieved. If that were only true, there's typically a big difference when deploying a new device in terms of customer expectations and the reality of how the device works in their environment. While these flash arrays may be able to exceed 500,000 IOPS in a lab, this will only be realized in the customer environment if the infrastructure can support it. In the case of flash arrays, the infrastructure is usually a fiber channel SAN. And with 8 gig fiber channel, a dual port adapter can provide up to only 400,000 IOPS, not nearly enough to support these high performance flash arrays. Whereas with Gen 5 and Gen 6 fiber channel, dual port adapters can support up to 1.3 million IOPS, which is much better suited to support high performance flash array technology. In this graph, the performance of the enhanced Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters compared against the previous generation of 8 gig fiber channel adapters. Now, as you can see, going from 8 gig fiber channel to 16 gig fiber channel gives you twice the throughput and more than three times the IOPS dependent upon the block size. A significant performance advantage is even gained at the traditional 4K and 8K block sizes used by uh, most uh, enterprise applications. Now the reason for this improvement is the fact that the ASICs in the newer generation adapters are much more efficient, faster, and enable uh, the tripling of the IOPS and the uh, expanding of the throughput capability. And if we compare Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel to Gen 6 32 gig fiber channel, while the IOPS are the same, the bandwidth of Gen 6 is two times more than the Gen 5 technology. This makes a big difference when block sizes are larger than 16K or so. Now, for example, most database applications are running larger block sizes, and with more available bandwidth, Gen 6 can outperform Gen 5 in terms of database I.O. operations. So yes, infrastructure matters. The IOPS capability and the available bandwidth play a crucial role in the actual performance your customers will see when deploying new storage technologies like these flash arrays we were talking about. Well, the good news is that HPE has a full portfolio of Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel and Gen 6 32 gig fiber channel adapters based on QLogic technology from Cavi. The HPE Synergy 3830C and the HPE QMH 2672 mezzanine adapters provide 16 gig fiber channel connectivity for the HPE Synergy and HPE Blade System C-Class platforms respectively. The HPE Store Fabric SN1600QHBAs are PCIe adapters and provide 32 gig fiber channel connectivity for HP ProLiant, DL, ML, and Apollo servers. The HP Store Fabric SN1100Q is a 16 gig fiber channel version for these rack and tower servers. Besides the increase in IOPS and bandwidth compared to 8 gig fiber channel, the Gen 5 and Gen 6 technology provides other benefits as well. First, both Gen 5 and Gen 6 adapters will be supported in HP's newest Gen 10 server platforms. Second, both Gen 5 and Gen 6 feature forward error correction 
and T10 protection information capabilities that provide improved resiliency of the SAN, enabling the infrastructure to handle certain error conditions. Third, customers will benefit from lower total cost of ownership because there are a fewer number of connections and cables and transceivers required. In addition, HPE adapters from Cavium QLogic support enhanced diagnostics and orchestration capability like diagnostics ports, uh, fabric assigned worldwide name, and fabric based boot line that are part of what we call store fusion technology when connected to brocade uh, Gen 5 or Gen 6 fiber channel switches. These adapters also support HPE Smart SAN for HPE 3 part, which can also greatly simplify SAN deployment and reduce the TCO even further. And finally, Gen 5 and Gen 6 adapters from HPE and Cavium are NVMe ready and enable your customers to future-proof their infrastructure today for the storage devices that they will be deploying tomorrow. So in summary, faster is better. Don't be discussing flash storage with your customers without having a conversation about the infrastructure they have in place. If they already have Gen 5 or Gen 6 fiber channel in place, great, you're good to go. If they don't, then you need to engage with them on an upgrade. If you need help, engage with the Cavium HPE team. We're here to help you. HPE server and storage technology makes data go faster. And QLogic Gen 5 and Gen 6 technology from Cavium just works better. That's faster and better. For more information, access our HPE microsite at www.qlogic.com slash info slash HPE. Here you're going to find lots of information on the products and technology we touched on today. This includes white papers, data sheets, and technology briefs. And if you're interested in HPE specific training on IO technology uh, from Cavium, check out our HPE training site at, HPE, at hpe.qlogictraining.net. Here you'll find a variety of short on-demand courses and you'll have the opportunity to gain certification on HPE and Cavium adapter technology. Also, we offer the Follow the Wire Rewards Program. Individuals can earn points redeemable for merchandise, experience events, travel, and more simply by learning about HPE and Cavium technology or engaging with our Cavium HPE team. They say learning is fundamental, so just join the program and start learning and earning today. Well, that's it for this session of Intelligent IO Matters. I hope you found this video informative and invite you to watch some of our other Intelligent IO Matters videos on YouTube. Thank you for your time and attention. And if you have any questions or need help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.